website today, it's called Adobe Ideas. It runs on the iPad and iOS, and we've had over two and a half million downloads of ideas. It's being used by people around the world, which is great. And if you look at how we've done our creative software over the years, our tools run today on Macintosh and Windows. Uh, we're going to be supporting our touch apps in the same way across operating systems. They're gonna run on iOS, and they're gonna run on Android and other OSs. Some may come out first on iOS and then go to Android. Some may come out on Android and then go to iOS. Uh, but ultimately, they're all gonna run across both. So let's take a look at ideas on iPads since it was out first. So here we have some work um, that was done in ideas. And there's been some really amazing work done with, with illustration uh, in these applications. And this is, this is one that's an illustration of a wolf. And you can see it's, it's quite detailed. And in fact, if I, if I zoom in, you can see uh, that it's not just pixels. It's actually vector graphics. And so incredibly sharp detail uh, in this illustration. And it was drawn with, with a finger, which is incredible. And you can bring these uh, illustrations um, to the to the personal computer as well and continue working on them. So this, this application uh, is running on iOS right now and it's now uh, coming to Android. So let's take a look at ideas on Android. All right. So here I have an um, Android tablet and I've got a bunch of artwork here, uh, some of the same artwork you just saw over on the iPad and you can do a drawing here just like you could on the iPad. So I'm going to take a risk and draw in front of all of you. Um, this is my dog, Finnegan. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I'm going to do here is trace Finnegan. Uh, if you don't know how to draw that well, tracing is a good uh, plan. So, and I'm going to use this, this stylus, which basically acts as a finger, so you'll be able to see what I'm doing a little bit better. So let's see, I've got, I've got Finnegan there, and um, let me make him a little bit bigger so I can, can draw him better. All right, and now I'm going to fade out that layer so it's not as much in our way as we're drawing, so you can see what I'm doing. And let me get my pen going here. That's good. Oh, and one of the things we're doing here is we're, is we're implementing these applications on tablets is we're really thinking about touch interaction. And of course I can, I can draw here, oops, if I pick my drawing tool, I can draw. There we go. Of course I can draw here on, this, on the display, um, but one of the things we've been playing with is how can you use multiple hands at the same time? So here on the left, I've got my tool panel, and you can see I can change the thickness of the brush just by pressing and dragging. So in one gesture, I can change the pen thickness. And with my other hand, I can be drawing. So if I, I draw a little bit there, I can change the thickness, I can draw a little bit there. Now if I'm really good, I can be changing the thickness while I'm drawing, uh, so I can get a nice thick pen or a thin pen. If you're really good, you can do that. You have to be experiment. <laughs> Okay, all right, now let's try to draw a video. Okay, I'm gonna use some kind of green here. And I'm gonna draw the outline of the space. It's pretty furry. Okay. Maybe here. Tufts of hair. Another <laughs> ear. Okay, all right, so he has a black nose, so let's go do the black nose. Stuff that I'm putting in the cloud. 
And so if I look at my Creative Cloud folder here, I should have the same stuff that was, I was just working with on my tablet, and there it is, on Title 24. That's what I just drew. And I can double-click that file, it comes up inside Illustrator. Yeah. There we go. That's good.